Good morning everyone. So today's video presentation, pagpapatuloy ko lang po yung nakaraang uh, presentation ko which is yung lecture 2 of statics of rigid body. So today's lesson, uh, couple. So couple tayo. The moment produced by two equal opposite and non-collinear forces is called couple. Couples are have certain unique properties and have important application in mechanics. So dinify natin si couple na nakaraan as two forces na opposite in direction with same magnitude and not collinear with each other. So, ito. Example ng couple ay, itong F dito, negative F and positive F dito is uh, same magnitude po siya na F and opposite in direction and not collinear with each other. So, may distance na D. So, ito po ay makakonsider natin uh, couple. No? So, ito is pwede natin i-ano siya into ganito. Or, ito, itong moment dito is ita-transfer or ipap- Kung baga, babaguhin natin siya into ganito. No? So, same din dito. No? Okay. Next. Next is sample problems. So, para mas maintindihan ninyo yung, uh, yung binabanggit kanina ng couple, uh, magkaroon na lang tayo or i-apply natin into uh, sample problems yung mga uh, ibig sabihin ng couple. No? So, we have here sample number one. Uh, rigid structure members. Structural members is subjected to a couple consisting of two uh, 100 Newton force forces. Replace this uh, couple by an equivalent couple consisting of the two forces P and P, each of which has a magnitude of 400 Newton. Determine the proper uh, angle. So we have here this drawing. So itong 100 kilo, uh, 100 Newton na to is a couple kasi nga opposite in direction with same magnitude na 100 no same din po dito so opposite direction yung p with the uh, distance na perpendicular no so sabi dun sa problem itong 100 kilo, 100 newton daw is i-convert natin into p dito sa taas which is yung value po ng p is 400 newton so ang pinapahanap po dun sa question uh, is yung angle theta no okay so po natin. We have here uh, 100 newton, 100 newton. So solution number one. Solution number one. We have here 100 newton and 100 newton. So kapag kukunin ko yung couple na to or yung moment na to, so we can say that uh, moment is equivalent kay force times t. So moment is equivalent kay yung force which is 100 newton times yung d is yung perpendicular distance nila. So, since 100 naka millimeter yan, so, i-convert na lang natin into meter. So, yung 100 millimeters is equivalent kay 0.1 meter. Therefore, the moment is equivalent kay 10 newton meter. Okay? Then, Itong 10 newton meter na moment is i-convert natin into dito. So sabi daw yung P, yung value ng P is 400 newton to. So same process lang din tayo from moment is equivalent kay P times D. So yung yung P po dyan is dapat itong nanditong part, yung ito. Ito yung P. Na yan, na, na binabanggit dito sa formula na to. Okay? So, yung P po na to is lalabas, since may P na 400 ka, may angle ka na dito, so lalabas yan ay P cosine theta. Tapos dito, opposite direction, pag ano naman siya, P cosine theta. So, therefore, itong binanggit ko kanina ng P dito is, dapat ang formula niyan is M is equivalent kay P cosine theta times yung perpendicular distance na D dito. Okay? So, lalabas we have here, syempre kung ano yung couple dito na moment, is itatransfer lang naman natin dun sa kapila. So, lalabas ito ay 10 newton meter is equivalent kay P cosine theta times D. And we all know that P is equivalent kay 400 and yung D is equivalent kay 40 millimeter. So, ilagay lang natin, we have here 10 is equivalent kay 400 cosine theta times yung D, which is 40 mm. So, pag uh, kinonvert to meters yan, is 0 0.040 
meters. Therefore, angle theta is equivalent kay arc cosine 10 all over 100 uh, 400 times 0.4. Therefore, lalabas is equivalent kay 51.4 318 degrees. Okay. So, lalabas 51.318 degrees yung angle theta dun sa problem natin. Okay. So, next problem po tayo. So, we have here example number 2. Compute the combined moment of the 290 pounds force about A point O and B point A. Ito. So, pinapahanap daw yung uh, moment itong dalawang force na to, no So, we can say that solution number 2 Kung makikita natin siya, uh, tawa bang couple moment siya kasi nga, pareho ang magnitude na 90 pounds. Opposite in direction yung ano natin, yung arrow. Then, may perpendicular distance tayo na uh, ito. No? Okay. So, since ang question po is uh, find the moment at point uh, O dun sa ano, tapos dun sa okay. okay. So, first, unahin natin sa point O. So, since sa point O, lalabas, moment at O, is equivalent kay, kung dito ka magmo-moment, tabang ang galaw nito, para makapunta dito ay pag ganon. So, pag ganyan. So, we have here, since uh, clockwise, positive po siya, we have here, 90 times yung distance, which is 4. Tapos ito, kung ito ay papuputin natin sa point O, tama ba ang galaw niya ay pag ganon. So, gagalaw siya na pag ganito. So, since ito ay uh, clockwise pa rin, so, lalabas, positive po rin siya, plus 90 times perpendicular distance, which is 12. So, MO is equivalent kay 1,090 times 4 plus 90 times 12. 1,440 pound inch. Uh, direction is clockwise. Okay? So, letter B, question, find the moment at point A. So, kung sa point A ka magagaling, diba couple, couple moment naman siya. So, lalabas, moment at A is equivalent kay, uh, ito ulit, ganon, at pag ganon. So, we have here, 90 times 8 plus 90 times Another 8. Therefore, MA is equivalent kay 90 times 8 plus 90 times 8. We have here 1,440 pound inch. Direction is clockwise. Okay. So, kumbaga, uh, kahit saan mo ilagay yung mga forces na yan, or kahit saan ka mag-moment dyan, magpuproduce lang yan ng ganitong sagot. Kasi nga, makikita mo, couple po itong uh, figure na to. Itong, draw, itong forces na to. No? So, ayan. Next problem po tayo. We have here problem number 3. So, as part of the test, the two aircraft engines are revved up and uh, the propeller pitches are adjusted so as to, res to result in the fore and aft Trust shown. The force F uh, must be exerted by the ground on each of the main brake wheels at A and B to counteract the turning effect of the two propeller thrust. Neglect any effect of the of the nose wheel C, which is turned turned and un, unbraked. 
So, pag, pagbasa pa lang ng problem, pag uh, bahaba na, di ba? Pero, uh, wag kayo mari-discourage kapag mga ganyan yung mga questions. No? Kasi minsan, yung sobrang habang problem, at least na naman yung solution na, binib- na kailangan ibigay. No? So, we have here uh, yung airplane na may 500 pounds daw na force na nandito na nakalagay sa uh, sa LEC no so pinapahanap kumbaga pinapahanap daw yung force na i-exert what is the force ito what is the force must be exerted by the ground on each of the main bra- main brake wheels so may gulong tayo dito which is yung A ito at yung B so ano daw yung brake force na iaano dito, ia-applied para matigilan yung pag uh, pag pagikat or pag ano nung ano nung itong force na to. So ibig sabihin lang dun sa problem na yan, itong 500 500 pounds na couple na to is ita-transfer lang natin dito sa point A and B. Yun lang naman po yung ibig sabihin ng problem na yan, no? So solution po tayo. Solution number 3. We have here uh, moment nito. Kukunin ko yung moment nito is pareho sa moment couple na nandito. Tama? Okay. So, couple moment is equivalent kay couple moment dun sa AB. Okay. So, para makuha natin yung couple moment nito, we have here 500 pounds times yung perpendicular distance which is 14 feet is equivalent kay yung force na nandito F times yung perpendicular distance which is 8 feet. Therefore, F is equivalent kay 875 pounds. Yan na po yung answer natin. Di ba madali lang siya? Ang haba lang ng problem pero madali lang yung solution. Okay. Next problem po tayo. Okay, another mahabang problem ulit. Mahabang basahin. So, a lug wrench is used to tighten a square head bolt. If 50 pound force are applied to the wrench as shown, determine the magnitude F of the equal force exerted on the four contact points of the one inch bolt head so that their external effect on the bolt is equal to that <coughs> of the two pounds, uh, po, two, 250 pounds Uh, force, assume that the force are perpendicular to the flat of the uh, bolt head. Okay. So, meron tayong uh, ang tawag dito? Lug wrench ito. Na meron tayong mag-exert tayo ng 50 pound force dito na iikutin natin to para matighten yung uh, bolt, uh, rectangular bolt dito sa point na to. No? So, para makompute natin yan, ibig sabihin lang doon sa problem ulit parang kagaya lang nung kanina, Itong force na inexert natin dito is yung yung mo kung bakit yung moment na inexert natin dito is ita transfer po natin dun sa uh, dito sa point na to. Okay? So sagot tayo. Okay. So itong force na to is ita transfer daw po natin dito. So ang sum ano na is itong value na, na to. Ayun po yung itsura niya. So we have here again moment Solution number 4. We have here, moment is equivalent kay moment. <clears throat> so, itong force na to is itatransfer daw doon. So, moment ito dito is we have here 50 times 28 inches. Equals moment dun sa kabila. So, sabi dun sa, sa problem... Masahin ko lang ulit. Uh, assume that the forces are perpendicular to the flats of the bolt head. So, ibig sabihin, perpendicular daw dun sa uh, bolt head. Ito. Kung ito yung head ng bolt, so, ibig sabihin, ito siya. O, ganito. Tapos, mag-apply ka ulit dito. Pagkala ng ikot. Tapos dito, sa part na to. So, ibig sabihin, uh, yung lahat ng, kumagayang apat na kantong yan, is malalagyan ng force. No? Kasi nga, 
pag transfer mo yung force dito is papunta dun sa kabila, matatransfer po yung lahat. Pero syempre, kung ano yung force ng XR dito is same lang din dito, yung dito, at yung dito ay pareho lang din. No? So, lalabas po dyan is F, yung force, F na to, F din to, F to, at F din to. So, kumbaga, yung force dito at yung dito ay isa lang. No? So, force times perpendicular distance na 1 plus yung force dito, force times 1 ulit. Therefore, we have here 50 times 28 is equivalent kay 2F. Therefore, lalabas, F is equivalent kay 700 pounds. So, ba check natin. 500 times 28 divide 2. Seven hundred pounds. Okay, so ito po yung answer. Seven hundred pounds. Like I said kanina, mahaba lang yung problem pero malit lang din yung solution. Okay, next problem ulit tayo. <clears throat> okay, during a steady right turn, a uh, person exerts uh, the forces shown. On the steering wheel, note that each force consists of a tangential component and a radially inward component. Determine the moment exerted about the steering column at O. Okay, so we have here this figure. So, solve natin po kung paano yan. So, bali, ibig sabihin lang po niyan, yung itong forces na nandito, is itatransfer po natin doon into a couple. Couple moment. Okay. Solution number 5. So, we can say na itong force na to at yung force na to is transfer natin doon. No? Pwede kong uh, i-component. No? Kukomponent po natin siya. So, bali ito. Ang force dito is pag ganito at pag ganito. Then ito is pag ganito at pag ganito. Therefore, ang gagamitin ko po ay itong force na to at yung force na nandito. Kasi ito, pag nag-component ka dito at nag-component ka dito, magpa-pass through siya sa point O. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya kailangan mag-moment. Therefore, ito at ito, so, yung force na to at force na to multiplied by this is equivalent dun sa hinahanap natin ng moment. No? Okay. Therefore, moment at O Moment at O is equivalent kay yung force na nandito at force dito times the perpendicular distance. To get the force here, so we have here 8 angle 30 to. So, ibig sabihin yan ay cosine 30 multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is ito. Okay? So, lalabas ito ay naka mm. So, pwede natin sabihin 0.375 meter. Therefore, MO, the moment at O, is equivalent kay 8 cosine 30 times 0.375 newton meter. Yung location po is pag ganun ang ikot, ibig sabihin, clockwise. Yan po yung sagot. Di ba madali lang siya? As long as naintindihan nyo po yung problem, uh, mas madali nyo masasagutan yung ano. Pero kung hindi nyo talaga naintindihan yung problem, dun tayo mahihirapan. No? So, dapat yung comprehension din natin sa, sa problem is uh, mas ma malawak yun, yung comprehension natin. Okay. Next problem po tayo. Sample number 6. The system consists of bar AO, bar AO, two identical pulleys, and a section of a thin tape is 
uh, subjected to the two 180 newton tensile force shown in the figure. Determine the equivalent force couple system at point O. Ibig sabihin, itong dalawang force na to is transfer lang natin dito. No? So, kung makukuha mo ito, yung perpendicular distance na to, pwede mo na makuha yung uh, value. Diba? Pero kung uh, kukunin mo, or pwede mo naman siyang isa-isahin, no? Ito, papunta doon. Ito, papunta doon. Okay, solve natin pareho para mas makita niya. Okay. So, we have here 80, 180 newton and 180 newton dito. Then, kukunin daw natin yung uh, since pag ganyan yung ano, moment dito sa point O. Okay? So, solution ulit. Moment at O is equivalent kay pwede natin kunin to papunta doon. So, ang galaw nito ay pag ganito, para kay point O. Ito, pag uh, ganito. Okay, point O. Okay? Ito, multiplied by the perpendicular distance. Anong perpendicular distance nyan? Okay, so drawing tayo ng project po natin ng maayos yung mga distances. So, po-project tayo dito, pag ganyan. At dito sa part na to. Project din tayo. Okay. So, para makuha natin itong perpendicular distance na to, tama bang may angle 45 ako dito, tapos may angle akong 50 dito, ay, may length akong 50 na to. So, para makuha ako itong height na to, so, sine, sine, 45 degrees, is equivalent kay opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite, which is equivalent kay, sabihin ko tayo, y1, y to ito. y1 over 50. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> y1 is equivalent kay 50 sine 45. Therefore, y1 is equivalent kay 50 sine 45. 25 the square root of 2. Then, for y2, we have here distance na to. So, we have here 150 na length. So, sine 45 ulit is equivalent kay y2 over 150. Therefore, y2 is equivalent kay square root of 2. Okay. So, may perpendicular distance na tayo, perpendicular distance. So, mano-mano tayo mag-solve. Ito, papunta dito. So, we have your positive value. So, 180 multiplied by the perpendicular distance. Ito, ang perpendicular distance niya is y1. Minus nito. y1 minus ito. No? Kasi ito lang yung perpendicular distance niya eh. Itong dalawang to. Ito lang yung perpendicular distance niya. So, to get the perpendicular distance, we have y1 minus the radius. So therefore, y1 is 25, the square root of 2, minus the radius. Ang radius is equivalent kay 25 mm. Okay. Tapos, to counterclockwise, minus 180 multiplied by perpendicular distance, which is ito, plus yung radius ulit dito sa kapila. Okay. So, we have here 75 square root of 2 plus 25. Okay. Then, divided by 1,000. Okay. Saan po nanggaling yung 1,000? Okay. Yung 1,000 po is nanggaling sa pag-convert po natin ng uh, distances which is na km into meter. Para ay yung sagot po natin is naka-newton meter na po siya. Okay? 
So we have here 188 times 25 the square root of 2 minus 25 minus 180 times 75 the square root of 2 plus 25 divided 1000. We have here 21.7279 Newton meter. Okay. So, ito po yung sagot niya. Okay. So, pwede rin niya pong uh, para makuha po is kunin niya lang yung perpendicular distance na to. So, therefore, para makuha yung perpendicular distance na to, we have here uh, sin 45 is equivalent kay uh, sabihin kang perpendicular distance na to is x x all over 100 therefore x is equivalent kay 100 sin 45 equals 50 the square root of 2. So, to get the distance, perpendicular distance, we have here another 50. So, lalabas yan ay uh, moment O. Double check natin ako, lalabas. Uh, 180 times 50 the square root of 2 plus 50. Divide the one off. Okay. So, lalabas, we have here yung F times D. F times D. So, yung force natin which is equal kay 180 Newton multiplied by the perpendicular distance na to. So, we have here 50 the square root of 2. Yung 50 the square root of 2 is from center to center pa lang po yun ang puli. Plus, uh, plus 25 plus 25 na radius. So, plus 50. Divide 1000 ulit para maging mm. Therefore, MO is equivalent to 21.7279 then. Newton meter. Para walang po siya ng sagot. Okay? So, either way, kung saan po yung mas kampante kayong isolve, or kung saan yung mas maliit, pwede rin, no? Kahit saan po dyan yung process, okay lang po yan. Okay, next problem ulit tayo. Problem number 7. Ata, number 7. Ah, wala na. Number 6. Last number pa na yan. Okay. So, let's proceed. No? So, ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin si resultant. So, si resultant is napahapyawan na rin natin ng konti dun sa una kong uh, uh, dun sa video no? bago ito. No? Face ko lang yun. So, si, si resultant is a uh, combination ng lahat ng force uh, forces na nag-act nag sa system natin. So, kung ipag-iisayin natin kung halimbawa may apat na forces doon, equivalent lang natin siya into one force lang, no? So, yun yung po yung tinatawag na resultant. The resultant of a, for of a system of a force is the simplest uh, force combination which can be, uh, which can replace the original force without altering the external effect of the rigid body to which the forces are applied. Equilibrium of the body is the condition in which the resultant of all forces acting on the body is zero. No? So, kapag pinag-usapan natin yung resultant, ibig sabihin, may equilibrium na pinag-usapan tayo. No? So, ibig sabihin lang, R is equivalent kay F1, force 1, plus force 2, plus force 3, plus etc. Ibig sabihin, si R is the summation of all forces ito. No? So, since uh, may mga angle tayo, pwede natin i-consider muna yung component. So, we have here uh, Rx and Ry. So, si Rx is all the forces in x direction and si Ry is the summation of all forces in y direction. Then, para makuha natin yung resultant force, square root lang natin or the Pythagorean theorem to. Square root of uh, summation of forces x quantity squared plus summation of forces y quantity squared. Then, to get the angle, so, we have here tangent arctan is equivalent uh, tan, arctan uh, ry over rx, no? So, same to. Then, sabi nga kanina, since equilibrium yan, so, summation moment is equivalent kay summation of moment ng lahat ng forces na din nandun doon. Then, uh, either rd is equal to mo, no? So, ito po yun. Pakitandaan na lang po yung mga formula na yan kasi hanggang sa mag- uh, 
ano kayo, kumbaga hanggang sa mag-curie of structure, gamit na gamit po yung mga ganyang formula. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan ninyo, sample problem na lang ulit tayo. No? So, determine the resultant of four uh, forces and one couple which uh, act on the plate. So, we have here four forces, one, two, three, and four, and isang couple uh, moment dyan. Okay, so let's solve. Okay, so based on the formula kanina, we have here uh, Rx, which is summation of uh, forces in X, and Ry, summation of forces in Y, then uh, square root para makuha natin yung resultant. Okay, so since ito ay couple, hindi na natin siya isasama pagdating sa pagkuha ng resultant. Gagamitin lang po natin siya kapag moment na po yung pinag-uusapan. Okay? So, dun sa, sa reaction natin, or dun sa resultant, ang kailangan lang po natin is itong apat na forces na to. Okay? So, sabi ko kanina, Rx, solution tayo. Number 1. Okay? Solution number 1. Rx is equivalent kay summation of forces x and equivalent kay. So, lahat ng forces in x. So, ito yung x-axis natin. Ibig sabihin, horizontal po yun. Lahat ng forces horizontal. So, assumption ulit. Going to the right is positive. Going to the left is negative. Upward is positive and downward is negative. Okay. So, since may 40 tayo which is positive going to the right. 40 newton plus itong 80 which is going to the right, to the right ulit. 80 para mako yung ito we have here cosine 30 degrees. Then, ito, going to the right, uh, to the left. Minus 60 cosine 45 degrees. Therefore, Rx is equivalent kay, pagsamahin nyo po yan, we have here 40 plus 80 cosine, 6, cosine 30 minus 60 cosine 45. So, we have here 66.856 newton. So, the direction is, since positive yung low bus, ibig sabihin yung direction po natin is going to the right. Okay? Then, Ry. Ry is summation of forces y, which is equivalent kay lahat ng Ry. So, we 50 is positive going up plus ito going up and going up din to. So we have here 80 sine 30 plus 60 sine 45. So therefore Ry is equivalent kay 50 plus 60, uh, 80 pala, plus 80 sine 30 plus 60 sine 30, uh, 45. We have here 132.426 Newton going up. Therefore, uh, kung up and pa right dyan, ibig sabihin yung resultant natin pa ganyan. No? Okay, so resultant R is equivalent kay square root ni Rx squared plus Ry squared. So, R is equivalent kay square root ni Rx, which is 66.856 squared, plus Ry, which is equivalent kay 132.426 squared. Therefore, we have here resultant, which is 148.354 Newton. Okay. So, ito po yung resultant natin. Okay. Then, to get the uh, the angle, yung angle po ito, kung paano siya i-ano dyan sa ano natin. So, we can say that tangent theta is equivalent kay Ry all over Rx. So, we have here tangent theta is Ry which is 132.426 all over 
eight five six. We have where theta is equivalent kay arctan one thirty two point four two six all over sixty six point eight five six. 63.213 63.213 degrees So ito po yung angle or yung direction nung uh, resultant force po natin Then to get the moment yung moment po pinapahanap din po yung uh, one couple uh, ay yung moment moment po kailangan natin hanapin yung moment dyan Okay, so to determine the moment lahat po ng forces dyan is ipapuntahin lang po sa O Tapos ito, siyempre, ipa-plus na lang po natin yan. Okay. So, dito tayo. Moment at O is equivalent kay. So, since papunta po sa O, ito po is, hindi na po siya mag-moment kasi nasa point of uh, pag-momentan siya. No? Hindi siya gagalaw. Walang perpendicular distance ito. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya mag-moment. Okay. So, si moment, so clockwise tayo is positive. Pag clockwise, uh, counterclockwise is negative. Clockwise is positive. So, therefore, C si 140 is counterclockwise. So, pag inikot natin, counterclockwise yan. So, we have here negative 140 newton meter yan. Plus, ito, pag pinapunta natin dito, pag ganyan yung ikot niya, uh, pag ganyan yung galaw, para makapunta sa O, we have here 50 times perpendicular distance na 5. Then, ito, Pass through din po siya sa O. So, hindi na siya mag-moment. Ito na lang po ang pag-moment natin. So, we have here, ito, component ulit tayo pag ganyan at pag ganyan. So, pag kinumponit po natin pataas at pababa ito, ito ang galaw nito ay papunta pag ganon, ito ang galaw nito ay pag ganito. So, therefore, ito is pag ganyan plus po siya. We have here 60 uh, sin 45 times perpendicular distance 67 Minus ito. Galaw nito ay pag ganito. Ito ay pag ganito. So therefore, ito ay 60 cosine 45 times the perpendicular distance which is 4. Okay. Moment at O is equivalent kay negative 140 plus 50 times 5 plus 60 sine 45 times 7 Minus 60 cosine 45 times 4. So we have here 237.279 Newton meter. Ito po yung moment uh, value. No? Okay. So next, next problem po ulit tayo para mas maintindihan ninyo. Okay. Sample number 2. Two rods and one cable are attached to the support at O. If two of the forces are as shown, determine the magnitude F and direction theta of the third force uh, so that the resultant of the three forces is vertically downward with a magnitude of 1,200 pounds. So, ibig sabihin, pinapahanap po yung value ni F dito. Pero may resultant force ka na, na dito which is 1,200 pounds. Pounds. Okay. Solve natin para Okay, so we have here uh, this figure na meron tayong uh, two, rods, uh, two rods daw ito. Uh, tapos meron tayong cable na to. Attention siya. Then, uh, based dun sa problem natin, we have here the resultant force R, which is going downward daw. Ito. We have here R, which is equivalent kay 1,200 pounds. Okay? So, to solve it, Pinapahanap daw po yung force F, ano daw po to, at ano daw po yung angle theta dito. Okay? Solve natin. Solution number 2.
we have here summation forces of x is equivalent kay ry. So we all know that ry is equivalent kay figure. So we have here ry is equivalent kay summation of forces ni y equals uh, yung forces ng y na nandito. Okay? So, lalabas, we have here, going to the right is positive ulit, going to the left is negative. So, going to the right, ito, 1,000, 1,000, sin, uh, cosine, 45, plus, ito, 500, cosine, 30. Okay? So, kapag kinumpunan kasi natin to, we have here ito. At ito. Na may angle ka na 45 dito. Okay? So, so we have here minus itong force na to. Since going to the left siya, minus siya. So, we have here F. Since nandito yung angle niya, so, para makuha natin yung forces na horizontal, which is ito. Tama bang sign yan? So, opposite. Opposite. Over hypotenuse. So, lalabas siya na sign theta. Okay. Therefore, since the resultant is uh, going downward, sabihin, si ry natin is equivalent kay 0. Okay. So, lalabas, ito po yung equation natin. So, we can say na uh, F Ito ay transfer ko sa kabila. F sin theta is equivalent kay ito. Pakasob na po ito. 1000 cosine 45 plus 500 cosine 30 is equivalent kay 1140.119. So, equation 1. Then, R, X is equivalent kay summation forces na X is equivalent kay going downwards F, going downward din ito, going upward ito. So, negative 1000 sin 45 Going downward, minus F cosine theta plus upward, which is 500 uh, sine 30. Okay. And we all know that Rx is equivalent kay downward 1,200. So, ito ay negative 1,200. Therefore, ito ay negative 1,200. Equals, pagsamahin niyo po yung pwede niyo i-plug pagsama. So, we have here negative 100 sine, uh, 1000 sine 45 plus 500 sine 30. So, we have here negative 457.1067. Uh, 07 na lang po. 07 minus f cosine theta. Okay? Then, uh, ito, lipat ka sa kabila, lalabas yun ay negative 1,200 minus a uh, plus. Pag nilipat ang magiging plus na, plus 457.107. We have here 700, negative 742.107. 893 equals negative f cosine theta. Okay? So, pwede kong tanggalin yung negative. We have here 742.893 equals f cosine theta. Then, we all know that yung f dito at yung f na nandito is pareho lang. Tama? So, ito ay equation. 2. Ngayon, sabihin kong pagsasamahin ko yung uh, 
equation 1 and equation 2. So, I could say that equation 1 is equivalent kay from dito. So, pwede ko sabihin F is equivalent kay 1140.119 all over sin theta. Tama? Then, itong sa equation 2, equation 2, I could say that F is equivalent kay 742.893 all over cosine theta. Therefore, F is equivalent kay F. So, pwede kong ito ilagay sa kabila. No? So, dito na lang ako sa kabila. Ano ba? Dito. F is equivalent kay F. Therefore, we have here F na 1140.119 all over sine theta is equivalent kay 742.893 all over cosine theta. And we all know na ito ay bababa natin. 1140.119 all over 742.893 equals sine theta all over cosine theta. And we all know that sine theta over cosine theta is equivalent kay tangent theta. So we have here Tangent theta. Ano na magulo? Tangent theta is equivalent kay ito. Pwede mo nang i-calcule yan. We have here 1140.119 all over 742.893. We have here 1.535. Therefore, arc tan answer. We have here angle of Theta, which is equivalent to 56.912 degrees. Ito po yung value ni theta na hinihingi. And the value of force is, ito ang theta, i-apply mo lang doon sa force. F dito. F is equivalent to 742.893 all over cosine 56.912. Therefore, F is equivalent kay 742.893 cosine 56.912. So, we have here 1360.793 pounds. So, ito po yung value ni F. Okay? So, yun. Okay. Next problem po ulit tayo. Yung yeah, haba ng solution. Okay. We have here uh, example number 3. Determine the resultant of R of the three tension forces acting on the I bolt. Uh, find the magnitude of R in the angle which R makes uh, the positive axis, mixed with the positive axis. So, ibig sabihin yung resultant for force po, yung resultant is dito mapupunta sa X axis natin. Paganan, R. Okay, next. Solution tayo. Okay, so we have here this bolt, a uh, eye bolt. Tapos meron tayong tatlong row na may mga angle 45 and 30 degrees dito. 30 degrees po to, angle 45 naman po to. And the resultant force is mag a dito sa point na to. Ito po yung R. So pinapahanap po yung value ni R dyan. Okay, so para ma-identify natin, Uh, find the magnitude uh, find the magnitude r and the angle which r mixed with the positive angle. So, ibig sabihin, uh, yung r po ay either nandito pong part pala or nandito part. Tapos, kukunin po natin yung uh, theta, angle. No? Mali pala yung drawing ko. Mali pala yan. Okay. So, pinapahanap po yung resultant. So, to get the resultant, summation forces vertical, summation forces horizontal tayo. 
Okay, solution tayo. We have here Ry is equivalent kay summation forces Y equals. This means Ry is summation forces uh, Y. So, lahat ng vertical. So, sabihin ko, upward is positive and downward is negative. So, si upward natin is ito. Downward, downward to. So, we have here 20 cosine 30 degrees minus downward which is 4 kilonewton minus 8 kilonewton cosine uh, 45 degrees yeah. cosine 45 degrees so ry is equivalent kay 20 cosine 30 minus 4 minus 8 cosine 45 so we have your 7 point 56 uh, 66 66 4 kilonewton. So, the direction is, since positive, ibig sabihin pataas po yung value natin. Okay. Then, Rx is equivalent kay summation forces ni x equals. So, lahat ng forces ng x na nandito. Okay. So, we have here 20 going to the right, sine 30 plus 8 si sine 45. So, yun. So, we have here Rx is equivalent kay 20 sin 30 plus 8 cosine uh, sin 45. So, we have here 15.656 kilonewton going to the right. And therefore, R is square root ni Rx squared plus Ry squared. R is equivalent kay square root ng Rx which is 15.656 degrees plus 7.664 squared. R is equivalent kay square root ni 15.656 squared plus 7.664 squared. So, we have here 17.431 kilonewton. So, ito po yung resultant uh, value natin. Then, to get the direction, yung angle theta, so we have here, since pa ganyan po, pataas po yung R, Rx, Ry natin, and Rx natin ito, Rx. So, ito po yung R natin. So, para makuha yung theta is opposite over adjacent. Tangent, theta is Ry over Rx. So, tangent theta is equivalent kay Ry which is equivalent kay 7.664 all over Rx which is 15.656. Theta is equivalent kay arctan 7.664 all over 15.656. So we have here 26.082. Uh, 83. 83 degrees. Ito po yung angle ng resultant force natin. Okay. So next tayo. Next problem ulit. Next problem. So, determine and locate the resultant R of the two forces and one couple acting on the beam. Okay, so ito. So we have here uh, 5 kN upward and 8 kN downward and moment of 25. So pinapahanap po yung resultant. So lalabas dyan, solution natin. Resultant 
is equivalent kay since puro vertical lang ang makikita mo dyan, up and down lang tayo. It's been RY ang makukuha natin. So, RY is the resultant mismo. So, we have here, uh, upward is positive ulit tayo, downward is negative. 8 kilo newton. Therefore, we have here R, or the resultant is negative 8, uh, negative 3 kilo newton. 3 kilo newton or 3 kilo newton downward. So, kahit po saan dyan, yan po yung resultant uh, value natin. Okay. Then, uh, to determine the location of the resultant from dito sa x, dito ah. Parang from dyan. So, kailangan muna natin ng moment, no? So, si moment is magagaling sa ito, moment natin at a point O. So, sabihin natin ito yung O natin. Point O. Okay. So, moment at point O. Moment at O is equivalent kay. So, si 5 is pag ganun ang galaw. Pag ganun. So, we have here 5 uh, counterclockwise, negative 5 times perpendicular distance na 2 minus counterclockwise ulit 25 ito, clockwise pero ulit ay pag ganito so plus 8 times perpendicular distance which is 6, therefore MO is equivalent kay Negative 5 times 2 minus 25 plus 8 times 6. We have here positive 13 kilonewton meter. Therefore, the, look, the direction is clockwise. And to get the value of or to, to get the distance of uh, the resultant, we have here MO is equivalent kay resultant times yung distance. So, resultant value times yung D is yung kabuang uh, uh, force kasi multiplied by the distance is para ko lang sa moment ng tigi-isa, tiba So, we have here 13 kilonewton meter is equivalent kay R which is equivalent kay 3 times distance D. Therefore, D is equivalent kay 13 divided 3. We have here 4.33333 meter from X or from O. Okay, so from point O, makikita natin yung resulta uh, 4.33. Dito pa banda yun. Dito yung resulta. Value natin. Okay? Next. Okay, another example tayo, number 5. Example number 5. Uh, the flange of steel, uh, the flange steel cantilever beam uh, with derivative brackets is subjected to the couple and two forces shown. And their effect on the design of the attachment uh, at A must be determined. Replace the two forces and couple by the equivalent uh, couple M and resultant force R and A. So, kunin daw natin yung uh, moment dito sa point A at yung resultant force na mapuproduce nitong dalawang force na to. No? Okay, ito. So, we have here this figure. So, solution tayo. So, to get the resultant ulit, so, summation force is vertical, summation force is horizontal. If makukuha natin yung ry at rx, then square root ulit tayo. So, solution. R, X is equivalent kay summation forces ni X equals. So, lahat ng along X axis, solve natin. So, we have here, tama bang 5 ito? 3, 4, 5, and angle 70 to. So, to get the value, so, 
Pag ganun, uh, going to the right positive, going to the left is negative, upward is positive, downward is negative. So we have here, going to the right na 1.2, 1.2 multiplied by horizontal, since horizontal tayo, 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Last, going to the right pa rin yung 2, kilonewton, uh, cosine, 70 degrees. Therefore, Rx is equivalent kay 1.2 times 4 over 5 plus 2 cosine 70. We have here 1.644. 1.644 kilo newton. Then we have here Ry is equivalent kay summation forces ni Y equals si Ry natin is lahat yung vertical natin. So, we have here going up is positive, going down is negative. So, we have here 2 sine 70 minus 1.2 times 3 over 5. We have here Ry. So, the location of Rx para natin is going to the right. Ry natin is 2 sine 70 minus 1.2 times 3 over 5. We have here 1.159 kilonewton. So, ito ay going up since positive yung value natin. So, to get the value of R, R is equivalent kay square root ni Rx squared plus Ry squared. R is equivalent kay square root ni, ang Rx natin is 1.644 squared plus 1.159 squared. Therefore, R is equivalent kay square root ni 1.644 squared plus 1.159 squared. We have here 2.0115. 2.0115 uh, newton, a kilo newton. Or pwede mong i-rewrite ng R is equivalent kay 1.644i plus 1.159j yung sagot natin. Basta may unit ka na kilo nyo ton. Okay. So pwede pong ito at pwede rin pong ito. No? Kasi ito parang naka ano lang, uh, x and y component pa siya. So, ngayon, uh, pinapahanap din po dun sa question natin si moment at point A. Yung moment dito. Moment at A. Okay? So, summation moment at A. Moment at A is equivalent kay clockwise is positive, counterclockwise is negative. So, we have here clockwise is positive and counterclockwise is negative. So, we have here clockwise which is 500 newton meter. Since mga nakakilo newton po to, so yung 500 newton, i-convert natin into 500, uh, 0.5 kilo newton meter. So we have here 0.5 the positive kasi clockwise po yung movement niya. Then, we have here plus, ito yung component po natin to. So may component po tayo pag ganyan at ito baba, ito at pataas. So, itong component na ito, pag pinapunta natin is pag ganon, ang galaw. Ito, pag pinapunta po natin doon is pag ganon yung galaw. Ito, papunta dito, pag ganon po yung galaw. Ito, papunta doon is pag ganon yung galaw. Right? So, therefore, so muna natin to plus clockwise, uh, 1.2 times 3 over 5 times perpendicular distance which is 1.5 Tapos magkas siya. Dito na nasa taas. Ilipat ka dito ha. Moment at A is equivalent kay clockwise 0.5 plus yung 1.2 times 3 over 5 times perpendicular distance na 1.5 5. Another. 
ito, pag ganun, minus 1.2 times 4 over 5 times perpendicular distance nga, which is ito, itong 0.15. Then, ito, gagalaw, pag ganun, plus 2 cosine 70 times perpendicular distance, which is 0.15. Ito, galaw, minus ulit, minus 2 sin 70 times perpendicular distance, which is 2 meters. Therefore, MO is, MA pala, MA is a given kind. 0.5 plus 1.2 times 3 over 5 times 1.5 minus 1.2 times 4 over 5 times 0.15 plus 2 cosine 70 multiplied by perpendicular distance 0.15 minus 2 sine 70 times perpendicular distance na 2. Therefore, we have here MA is negative 2.2202 kilonewton meter. Or we could say that MA is equivalent kay 2 0.2202 kilonewton meter and the direction will be since it is negative by counter clockwise okay then po yung answer okay next po next problem so we have here problem number 6 Please ko lang muna ha. So, the, and the asymmetric roof truss is of the type used when a near normal angle of inc incidence of sunlight onto the south face surface ABC. So, so ABC to. So, ABC sabihin, dyan daw yung tama ng uh, sunlight. It's described for the solar energy uh, purpose. The five vertical loads represents the effect of the weight of the truss and supports roofing materials. The 400 newton load represents the effect of the wind pressure. Wind pressure uh, determine the equivalent force couple uh, system at A. Also, compute the x-intercept of the uh, line of actions of the system resultant treated as single force R. So, hahanapin daw po natin yung uh, resultant force lang dito. Then, hanapin na natin yung x and y component po ng resultant based dun sa uh, problem. Okay? Hanapin lang na, uh, determine the equivalent force couple system at uh, A. So, ibig sabihin, moment din po natin yung force, uh, mga forces dun sa A. No? Then, we have here uh, compute the x-intercept of the line. So, ibig sabihin yung RY and RX nang, uh, RY and RX nang naman po yun. No? Into single R. So, figure ulit. So, we have here this figure. So, pinapahana po yung resultant force nitong lahat ng forces nyan. At pinapahana po yung moment na mag-occur dun sa point A. Dito. Okay, so solution. We have here Ry is equivalent to summation forces ni Y. So, lahat ng Y, vertical components. So, let's say na going up is positive, going down is negative. So, we have here negative 1000. Uh, negative 250. Minus 500, minus 500, minus 500, minus 250, minus 400 sine. The angle of 400 dito is ito, principle of transmissivity. 
transmissibility. So, meron tayong angle na for na 30 degrees dyan. So, sine 30 degrees. Therefore, Ry is equivalent kay negative 250 minus 500 minus 500 minus 500 minus 250 minus 400 sine 30. 2,200 uh, Newton downward. Negative or 2,200 Newton downward. Okay. Then, to get the value of Rx, so summation forces lang tayo. Rx is equivalent kay summation forces ni x. So, summation forces ni x, ang x mo lang naman na makikita dyan na itong nandito na axis. No? So, we have here Rx is equivalent kay uh, 400, since going to the right, positive siya, 400 cosine 30. So, we have here Rx is equivalent kay 400 cosine 30. 346.441 Newton going to the right. Therefore, R is equivalent to square root ni Rx squared plus Ry squared. R is equivalent to square root ni 346.41 squared plus 2,200 squared. Therefore, R is equivalent kay square root ni 346.41 squared plus 2,200 squared. We have here 2,227.106 Newton. Yan po yung value ng R natin. Then, to get the uh, yung x-intercept of the, ano, nalang naman yan, r is equivalent kay 346.41 i plus uh, minus 2200j in newton Okay, check natin yung question ulit. Balikan natin. Determine the equivalent force couple system at A. So, ibig sabihin na hanapin natin yung couple. No? So, moment, uh, moment tayo. Moment tayo sa A, tapos uh, R times D tayo. No? Then, uh, also, couple, compute the x-intercept of the line of action of the system resultant treated as a single uh, force R. So, ito na yung R natin, single force R. Ito na yung uh, x-intercept and y-intercept niya. Diyan, diyan magnatagpo yun. So, ang kailangan na lang natin is yung uh, first couple, no? So, kailangan muna natin mag-moment sa point A. So, moment tayo sa point A. So, ito. Moment tayo sa point A. Dito na sa taas. Kita pa lang na. Moment at A is equivalent kay ito, hindi na po ito mag-moment kasi uh, pass through sa A. So, 500 times perpendicular distance. Yung perpendicular distance niyan is kalahati ng 5. No? So, kalahati niya ng 5. So, 500 times 2.5 clockwise po yung movement niya. Pag ganun, pumunta kay A. Pag ganun din daw para kay A. Ganun. At ganun. Okay, so we have here another 500 plus 500 times 5 plus 500 times, since 30-30 to, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng kalahati dyan sa gitna, 7.5 plus 250 times 10 plus, itong value po na to, so, pwede natin kunin yung perpendicular distance na to, or either i-transmissibility natin siya, pumunta dito, gagawin natin pag ganito, or pag ganito. Na? So, pwede pa naman kunin ito na uh, na distance. So, 
mag ano ka lang. So, 90 degrees naman po ato. 90 degrees. So, pwede natin makuha yan. As 60 plus 30 plus 9. Plus 180. So, 90 degrees po siya. So, para makuha po yung value na to, we have here. Uh, sine. Ah, uh, cosine. Cosine. 60 is adjacent x all over hypotenuse which is 5. So we have here 405 cosine uh, 60. So lalabas yung MA. MA is equivalent kay 500 times 2.5 plus 500 times 5 plus 500 times 7.5 plus 250 times 10 plus 400 cosine 400 cosine pa cosine 60 500 uh, 400 cosine perpendicular distance pala 5 cosine 60 400 5 cosine 60 500 times 2.5, 500 times 5, 7.5, 250 times 10. Okay. So, lalabas we have here moment, which is 1,000 at 11,000 Newton meter. Therefore, M, A is equivalent to force, or R times D. So, we have here moment, which is 11,000, equals R, which is 2, 227.106 D equals 11,000 divide 2227.106 Therefore, D is equivalent to 4.939 meters. Ibig sabihin, pwede tayo maglagay dito ng force na 2227.106 na may distance na uh, 4.939 pareho lang po yung effect nun, no dito po sa value sa value na dyan okay so yun po yung sagot para dyan sa question na tinatanong dyan sa problem na yan so pinapahana po yung value ng resultant force na mag act ito po yun then pinapahana po yung x and y intercept ito po yung x and y intercept niya Tapos, ito po yung yung moment dun sa A para makuha natin yung uh, distance or para makuha natin yung couple no? yung couple force dyan. Equivalent couple force. So, yung equivalent couple force is 227 uh, 227.106 na uh, separated by distance 4.3 uh, 4.939 meters. No? Okay. So, next Next problem po tayo. Okay, problem number 7. So, we have here an exhaust system of a pickup truck is shown in the figure. The weight WH, WM, and WT of the head pipe muffler and the tail pipe are uh, 10, 100, and 50 Newton respectively and act at the indicated points. If the exhaust pipe hanger at the point A is adjusted so that its tension, Fa, is 50 Newton, determine the required force in the hanger at point B, C, and D so that the uh, force couple system of a point O is zero. Uh, which of the... which uh, or point O is zero. Why is a uh, zero force couple system at, zero, at O zero? Bubulo na ako kakabasa ng problem. Actually, uh, di, di, di ko trip, or hindi ko rin gusto na nagbabasa ng mahahabang mga uh, problem. Actually, hinahanap ko lang dyan kung ano yung mga given. No? Tapos, inilalagay ko lang dyan sa figure. Tapos, yung figure, susolve mo na lang agad. Okay. So, ito. Meron tayong figure dito. Then, binanggit dun si WH, WH is 10 Newton, si WM is 100 Newton, 
and si WT is 50 newton and also si FA is given as 50 newton din po to. Okay. So pinapahanap po yung value ng FB, FC at FD. So ibig sabihin three equations yung announce natin. So, so tatlong uh, tatlong tatlong announce tayo. So we need that we need three equations no para makapag-solve tayo. So first Summation forces X, summation forces Y, and summation moment tayo. So, meron tayong tatlong uh, pagkukuhaan ng equation. Okay. So, first, we have here summation solution. We have here uh, summation forces at X. Since uh, nasa equilibrium po tayo, lahat ng forces is masisiro po dyan sa uh, ano natin. So, sabi kasi yung moment, couple moment system at point O is 0. Ibig sabihin, ah, naka-equilibrium po yung value natin. No? So, ibig sabihin, so, summation forces uh, vertical is up is equivalent kay down. Uh, summation forces horizontal uh, left is equivalent kay pa right. No? So, ibig sabihin, summation forces X natin is equivalent kay 0. Uh, going to the left is equivalent kay going to the right. Going to the left is equivalent kay going to the Right. Therefore, F C sine thirty is equivalent to F D sine thirty. Therefore, F C is equivalent to F D. Ibig sabihin yung value ni F C is pareho daw kay F D, na para maging equilibrium po yung ano natin pinag-usapan. So we have your equation one. Then, equation 2, we have your summation forces y is equal to 0. So, we have here uh, up is equivalent kay down po. So, yung up, which is 50 plus fp plus fc cosine 30 plus fd cosine 30 equivalent kay downward 10 plus 100 plus 50. Therefore, pwede ko sabihin 50 plus ah, tanggalin ko na yung 50 dito. 50 din to. So, FB F sub B pala. FB na lang. Plus, FC and FT diba sa FC and sa FC ay pareho lang naman. So, pwede kong sabihin FC lang muna yan. 2 F C cosine 30 is equivalent kay 110. Therefore, FB is equivalent kay 110 minus 2 FC cosine 30. Equation 2. So, we have here equation 1, equation 2. So, tatlo yung anong natin. So, kailangan natin tatlo ng equation. So, ngayon, para makakuha tayo ng ano, summation moment tayo. No? Summation moment at O is equivalent kay 0. So, clockwise, uh, counterclockwise is equivalent kay clockwise tayo. So, si counterclockwise natin is ito, mga nasa taas. Then, si, count si, si counterclockwise natin is nasa taas. Clockwise natin is nasa baba. So, we have here 50 times perpendicular distance na 0.7 plus FB times perpendicular na distance natin na uh, 0.5 plus 0.2 plus 0.65 plus 0.65. So, we have here 2 plus, pag isin ko lang to, yung 2 F C cosine 30 times the perpendicular distance, which is ito. So, 0 0.5 hanggang 0 0.65 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4. We have here 2.9 distance equals yung nasa baba, we have here 10 times perpendicular distance na 0.5 plus 
100 times perpendicular distance na 0.5 plus 0.2 plus 0.65 equals 1.5 plus 0.2 plus 0.65 which is 1.35 plus 50 times the distance which is uh, plus 0.65 plus 0.5 2.5 okay and we all know na yung FB is equivalent dito at yung FC is equivalent kay FB which is makukuha natin yung uh, FC kasi nga Kung itong FBA in terms of FC at FC to, so yung ibig sabihin, puro FC na lang yung magiging ano natin dito. So, let's say na i-compute natin to. We have here 10 times 0.5 plus 100 times 1.35 plus 50 times 2.5 equals 265. Minus nito agad. Minus 50 times 0.7. So, we have here 230. Therefore, FB times 2 plus 2 F cos uh, FC FC cosine 30 times 2.9 is equivalent kay 230. And FB is ito. So, lalabas dyan. 110 minus 2 FC cosine 30 times 2 plus 2 epsilon cosine 30 times 2.9 equals 230. Then, shift solve na lang natin para lumabas yung value. Ayan. Ila. 210 minus 2 fc cosine 30 times 2 plus kung ito na lang 110 minus 2 fc cosine 30 cosine 30 times 2 plus 2 fc cosine 30 times 2.5 9 equals 230. So therefore, we have here FC is equal to 6.415 Newton. Newton, ba? Newton, which is equal to FD. So. Okay. Then, to identify the value of FB, so, yung FC na value dito, ilagay mo lang dito. So, FC, FB, is equivalent kay 110 minus 2 times 6.415 cosine 30. Therefore, FB is equivalent kay, hindi na patang makita, 110 minus 2 times 6.415 cosine 30. We have here, 98 point 889 Newton. Okay? So, yung final answer. Next problem. Next problem po tayo. Okay. So, uh, ikakat ko ulit yung video kasi nga, uh, three-dimensional force system na yung pag-uusapan natin. So, siguro hanggang doon na lang po muna. No? Kasi, uh, two-dimensional Forces lang muna yung uh, hanggang video na to. Then, uh, next uh, video ulit is the three-dimensional. So, I do hope na naintindihan ninyo yung diniscuss ko at sana may natutunan kayo sa video ko. No? At at least nakatulong sana ako na maintindihan ninyo kung ano ibig sabihin ng mga resultant, moment, couple sa two-dimensional force system. So, mag-ingat tayo at uh, mag-face mask, face shield lagi at magugas ng kamay at mag-alcohol no? para iwas tayo sa COVID.